Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvi and I will be your guide for today's lesson. In the previous lesson, you have learned how to get the greatest common factor of two numbers using the prime factorization method, the continuous division, and the listing method. In this new lesson, you will use the GCF to get the lowest form or terms of the fractions. After going through this lesson, you are expected to change fraction to lowest term. Look at the example below and study the illustration of two fractions. Observe if the two fractions are equal or equivalent fractions. So the first illustration shows 4 over 8 of the figure while the second illustration shows one half of the figure. So what did you observe in the two fractions? Are they equal? Yes, they are equivalent fractions. One half is the lowest term of 4 over 8. So how can we get the lowest term of a given fraction? In order to find the lowest term or to change the fraction into its lowest form, you will need to find first the greatest common factor of both numerator and denominator. Since you already know the different methods in getting the greatest common factor, so i-apply na lang natin yung mga methods na yon para makuha natin yung GCF ng given fractions. Okay, so let's have an example. We change 8 over 12 in lowest term. So this is how we visualize 8 over 12. So we have 8 shaded parts and the total number of parts is 12. So to change this 8 over 12 in lowest term, so first step, we find the prime factors of 8 and 12 or both numerator and denominator to get the GCF. So we can use different methods in getting or finding the GCF. So it's up to you kung anong mas madaling method para sa inyo. But I prefer to use continuous division. So we get a uh, the GCF of 8 and 12 using continuous division. So isip ka ngayon ng prime factors na pwedeng mag-divide sa 8 and 12. So pwede ang 2. Okay, divide natin. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. 4 and 6. Meron pa bang prime factors na pwedeng mag-divide sa 4 and 6? Okay, meron. 2 ulit. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 and 3. So, may mer meron pa bang prime number na pwedeng mag-divide sa 2 and 3? Okay, wala na. If wala na, Ang gagawin natin is we multiply the vertical numbers 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, ang ating GCF is 4. After okay. so getting the GCF, we can now proceed on step 2 wherein we divide both 8 and 12 or both numerator and denominator with the same number or GCF. So, ang GCF na nakuha natin is 4. Idi divide natin ng 8 and 12 sa 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. Therefore, ang lowest term ng 8 over 12 is 2 over 3. Kapag i-visualize natin ang 2 over 3, so ganito ang itsura niya. Kung, papa, kung inyong pagkukumparahin, kung equal ba ang 8 over 12 and 2 over 3, Okay, so equivalent fraction sila. Therefore, the lowest form or the lowest term of 8 over 12 is 2 over 3. Okay, so let's try different example para ma-practice natin yung pag-change ng fraction into its lowest form or lowest term. So let's try this. Change 12 over 15 to lowest term. So, ang una natin gagawin is to find first the GCF of 12 and 15 using continuous division. So, think tayo ng prime factors na pwedeng mag-divide sa 12 and 15. So, we can divide them by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 15 divided by 3 is 5. Okay, so again, continue natin ang process. 
Think again ng prime factors na pwede mag-divide sa 4 and 5 naman. So, wala na. Pag wala na, kung ano yung, yung vertical number na nakuha natin, so that will be the GCF. Since wala naman siyang ibang prime factors na, so the GCF now is 3. I-divide na natin ang ating numerator and denominator by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 15 divided by 3 is 5. Therefore, ang lowest term ng 12 over 15 is 4 over 5. Okay, so another example, change 20 over 32 to lowest term. So, first step, get the uh, GCF of the two numbers. So, 20 and 32, what prime numbers can be divided or can divide 20 and 32? So, we can divide them by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10 and 32 divided by 2 is 16. Continue the process. Isip ko uli ng prime factors na pwede mag-divide sa 10 and 16. So, again, 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 16 divided by 2 is 8. Okay, continue the process. 5 and 8. Meron pa ba tayong prime factors na pwedeng mag-divide sa 5 and 8? Okay, wala na. Therefore, ang ating GCF is 2 times 2 or 4. So, i-divide natin ngayon ang ating numerator and denominator sa 4 to get the lowest term of 20 over 32. So, 20 divided by 4 is 5 and 32 divided by 4 is 8. Kaya, ang lowest term ng 20 over 32 is 5 over 8. Let's try another example. Change 18 over 81 to lowest term. So, first step, we can use continuous division to find the GCF of 18 and 81. So, isip ng number na pwedeng mag-divide sa 18 and 81 exactly. Okay, so we can divide them by 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6 and 81 divided by 3 is 27. Continue the process, 6 and 27, isip ng number na pwedeng mag-divide sa 6 and 27. So, we can divide them again by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 27 divided by 3 is 9. Okay, so 2 and 9. May naiisip pa ba tayong number na pwedeng mag-divide sa 2 and 9 ng eksakto? Okay, wala na. Kung wala na, i-multiply na natin yung mga vertical numbers. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Therefore, the GCF is 9. So, we divide the numerator and the denominator by 9. 18 divided by 9 is 2, and 81 divided by 9 is 9. So, the lowest term of 18 over 81 is 2 over 9. Okay, so, in changing fraction to lowest term, always remember that to simplify fraction or change fraction into lowest form, we divide both numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor or GCF. And when the GCF of both numerator and denominator is 1, the fraction is in lowest term. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.